my daughter is expressing interest in playing the piano, and I want to write out some sheet music for her so I can help her kind of feel empowered. She's six years old, and uh, I want to make it kind of fun for her to learn, so I, after poking around online and looking at different softwares to compose music and, and do notation and stuff like that, I figured if I'm anything on Logic, probably get it to do what I want it to do. So this is how to make color-coded notation uh, for kids in Logic. So pop open Logic, make yourself a software instrument. Okay, easy enough. We've got the... There you go. So we'll do a... Aye, 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 seriously? There we go. We'll do Mary Had a Little Lamb. My goodness, my piano... Maybe I need the piano... Piano skills for myself here. Uh, cool. Alright. So we're just going to record Mary Had a Little Lamb here and hit the record button. And we're, I'm just going to play it in using the little, little keyboard here. So we've recorded a track, we recorded a little song here, click on score, and there's our stuff, and you can see my lousy playing has been quantized poorly, so let's just grab all these guys. And uh, in the piano roll it's easier for me to quantize these events, or uh, I guess I could just turn it on to quarter notes. Quarter notes, quantize. Thanks fellas. Alright, it's making me look bad. Score, here we go. Cool. So Mary had a little lamb. Layout looks pretty simple. But for a six-year-old, and even for a lot of adults, this just looks like a bunch of dots. So Logic has this really neat thing that's built into it that lets you tweak those dots so that you can find them easier on a piano. Um, go to Layout. And actually, it may be set here from when I was doing it before. But uh, check it out. Layout and then Colors. And you've got these things, pitch colors. This is pretty cool. So, uh, white keys, we've got red, blue, purple. I'm going to actually tweak some of these so that they look easier. Uh, we'll do yellow, orange. Uh, that orange is a little bit easier to see. Cool. Green, we'll do a nice bright green. And uh, pink. Cool. Okay. And now that those are set, what I can do is, these are pitch colors, so when I go over here to my score, I've set up the color scheme here. I select these guys by rubber banding them, or Command A, select all. Attributes, colors. And I turn on pitch color. And there we go. So now, what I plan on doing with this, and when I've done with stuff like this before, go to Office Depot or some office store and get little dots that are the colors of these and stick them on the piano keys and put this in front of my six-year-old and she should be able to actually play the thing so we're missing a couple of components here so um, if I hit save it'll ask me to save it will call Mary had a little lamb Mary had a little lamb cool and so now when I go to layout mode here uh, this little box right here is page view. Cool. And we can actually choose to see the title of the tune if we go song. Grab this over here. There we go. Um, I don't particularly care for that. We can uh, right hand. There you go. Cool. Okay, so we can make a couple little changes to make it look a little bit less intimidating to a to a youngster, to, to a five or six year old. Um, the last thing is that if you print it out, it's going to look like this. And you got two lines and a lot of empty space here, and I don't, I don't really care for that much either. So in layout, I forget if it's staff styles or score sets, I guess staff styles. Yeah, this is it. Cool, size. Literally just click on this thing and crank it up. 15 is as high as it'll go, but that's that's good for us because now we've got this. Nice little layout. 
And uh, when we do this, so we've increased the size of the thing so it's going to look better once, once our page gets printed out. There's one other cool tool I want to use real quick, and that is over here. The tool is called the Layout Tool. And I can now grab bar 3 and I can move it down a line. So it'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, move 5 and 6 down here, 5, 6, and then 7, 8. Cool. And there you go. And so now my final product is going to look kind of like this. This is actually pretty cool. So now if I put this in front of the piano and I have the little color-coded dots on my piano keys, um, my daughter will have a much better time trying to figure out what's going on here. Uh, so uh, next time we get together, I'll show you guys how to put text on the bottom of this thing. But for right now, we'll just we'll just kind of work on reading the notes. Cool. Thanks a bunch. Bye bye.